Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to use a TensorFlow light for detecting the object and then with the help of speech recognition program we are going to convert the object text means the object names into speech. Okay. So basically the idea is what uh, Raspberry Pi 4 will be detect the object in live with the help of Raspberry Pi 4 camera module using TensorFlow light and then it will convert the detected object names into speak means Raspberry Pi 4 will be speak the detected object names. Okay. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends for that first you need to install the latest OpenCV and TensorFlow Lite on Raspbian Bustard Legacy. Of course, you can use a Raspbian Bullseye, which is the latest version. Okay, I have already created the video how to install TensorFlow Lite and OpenCV on Raspbian Bullseye 64-bit version. Also, I have already created the video how to install OpenCV and TensorFlow Lite on Raspbian Buster Legacy version. Also, okay. So, if you want to use the Bullseye, you can use a Bullseye. If you want to use the Buster, you can use the Buster for this tutorial. Okay. But right now, I am on the Raspbian Buster Legacy. Okay. Which is the 32 bit version. Simple. So, I have already installed OpenCV and TensorFlow Lite. That is it. Now, first thing first, first we need to download the repository. So, repository name is Raspberry Pi AITF. AI means the artificial intelligence and TF is stands for the TensorFlow Lite. Okay. That is it. So, Raspberry Pi AITF, go to the code, copy the link, minimize browser, open terminal and we are going to simply clone the repository. I think I have already cloned the repository. As you can see, I have already cloned the repository. Simple, you need to I am going to delete it. Okay, sudo rm hyphen rf and raspberry uh, aitf. Let's just clear the screen. And now we are going to again clone the repository. So command is what sudo git clone. And if I paste link and hit enter, it will clone the repository. So inside that we have simple text file. Okay, and if I run the ls command, as you can see, speak obj. So, we need to move the text file on our desktop. So, sudo mv speak obj move on slash home slash pi slash desktop. As you can see, we have successfully moved it. So, we have done with the uh, repository. Simple, if I go here, text editor. Inside that, we have, uh, I have basically created two functions. Uh, the first function is basically speak it will make the Raspberry Pi 4 speak and the another one is counter frequency is basically counting the object means suppose uh, TensorFlow Lite uh, detects the one person then it will count to one person TensorFlow Lite uh, suppose it will detect the two person then it will count the two person it basically count the frequency of the object how many objects basically it detect okay so uh, this is the two function which we are going to simply copy and paste inside our uh, example folder which is the tensorflow folder okay so simple uh, we have our uh, text file ready now simply we need to install gtts and mpg321 uh, for speech recognition program so sudo pip3 install gtts hit enter it will install the gtts okay i have already installed it simple pip3 uh, sudo pip3 install gtts and it will install the gtts then we need here uh, mpg321 player so sudo apt install mpg mpg321 and just hit enter i have already installed it so it says mpg321 is already the newest version so command is what A sudo apt install mpg321 and sudo pip3 install gtts so we have done with the package installation also now as i told you we need to go inside the example folder if you follow my tutorial the how to install tensorflow light on the raspbian buster then you have the folder name which is the raspbian legacy which we clone for installing the opencv media pipe and tensorflow light so same folder which we are going to use in today's tutorial also so we need to go inside the folder cd raspbian legacy ls command and as you can see here it is what our tensorflow folder means the tensorflow light folder examples so we need to go inside the examples 
So, we are going to simply use our Tony editor and if with the help of Tony editor, we are going to open the file. Okay. So, simply I am going to open Tony editor, programming Tony, go to the file, click on open and as I told you, we need to go inside the pi and here it is what our last uh, clone folder which we use for installing OpenCV and TensorFlight and MediaPipe also. So, Raspberry and Legacy is the folder click on ok inside that we have our examples folder so examples then light then again examples then we need to go object detection then raspberry pi ok so same same folder uh, if you you if you work with the raspberry and bull side same folder ok examples then light then examples object detection and then raspberry pi ok same uh, folder for uh, raspberry and bull side ok so, we are, we are now inside the raspberry pi folder and inside that we have as you can see detect.py file. This is not our main file. So, simply I am going to click on ok and it will open the detect.py and first simply we are going to check our tensorflow light is working or not. So, simply I am going to simply uh, run the code and it will start the detect object ok. As you can see it is detected uh, detecting as a person ok. So, simple it is working it is uh, really great ok. So, now what we want to do, we want to make some changes. So, we are going to open, again we need to go inside the file, click on open and we are now inside the Raspberry Pi folder, object detection examples Raspberry Pi. So, we are going to use here a utils.py file and with the help of utils.py, basically we are going to make some changes inside the utils.py. Okay? So, simple, just scroll down the file scroll down scroll down and here as you can see for detection in detections i have make some changes okay as you can see the for detection in detection here we have class name so class name is basically the object names okay so we want to create the class name list okay so, for that I have create here as you can see for detection in detections I have create here first obj is just a empty list obj and then after the class name we need to call our list. So, obj which is the which is our list name obj dot append and inside that we need to pass the class name. It basically create the list of detected object names the class names. Suppose we have here a uh, person, so it is basically uh, save or we can say it basically pass the object names inside our obg list. Okay? That is it as it as simple as. So, as you can see this first change we need to make, we need to simply create the list name. You can mention any list name. Okay? I have mentioned simple obj. Then obj dot append and we need to pass the class name. That is it. Now, what we want to do, we have here now object names inside the uh, inside this list. So, we are going to simply first check our list is working or not. So, what we are going to do first here written image we need to simply print our obj obj which is our list. So, if I save the code uh, and we need to go here uh, uh, detect.py file which is our main file and we are going to simply run our code. As you can see, it is it detected the person and it is printed the person means this is what our class name. Right now, we have only the person. Okay? So, that is why it says the person, person, person. So, we have successfully created the list and inside that list, we have all the objects. Okay? So, now what we want to do, we want to simply use our functions which we have inside our text file. So, we need to copy the first function which is the speak function just copy it open Tony and go to the utils and just up here simply paste save and the another function copy come to the Tony editor after speak we need to pass our next function that is it save the as I told you this speak function is basically convert the text into speech and this count frequency is basically count the object uh, frequency means how many objects we have 
suppose we have two person then it says the we, we have the two person suppose we have two chairs then it says we have two chairs that's it so this is how it works now simply what we want to do here we want to simply call our count frequency function here after uh, before the return image okay not after before the return image so let's just copy it our function name like this way copy and here we need to paste that's it and we need to pass our list so list name is obj so simply we are going to pass obj that's it save the code and for knowing purpose for our purpose what we are going to do we are going to simply print the frequency okay then we will get the idea how it should work okay so let's just first uh, let's say i am going to comment a uh, speak function right now let's just uh, get the idea how the counter frequency function work okay so simply save the code and come to the detect.py and if i run the code as you can see right now i am only one person which detected by our raspberry pi 4 tensor light and it says the person and the frequency is the one okay now what i am going to do i am i have here two chairs and i am going to set the two chairs in front of the camera it says it will says uh, we have basically two chairs okay so i am going to simply stop the code so friends i have set the two chairs in front of the camera now we are going to simply start our code and as you can see there is a two chairs and it's printed here a chair and the frequency is two means we have two chairs okay so now we have the object text and we have the frequency of the objects now simply we can able to convert this text into speak function so simply i am going to stop the code and we are going to move in our utils.py now we know how our function works so simply uh, comment the print and open the other function code okay so as you can see here i have made the trigger so when we press the r button from the keyboard then it will speak the object names otherwise what will be happen because we are working with the while loop uh, the program the speak program will be again and again say same name again and again because we are working with the while loop simple so for that we need to create somehow the trigger so i have mentioned here a keyboard button key r so when we press the r then it will speak the object names simple so save the code come to the detect.py and if i run the code so we have here our objects now as i told you simply we need to press the r button from our keyboard okay so i have pressed the r button chair 2 as you can see it says chair 2 again i am going to press r button chair 2 chair 2 so what we are going to do now we are going to make here a sentence and then it will say chair 2 or it will say the object name so let's make like this way uh, let's say sir uh, there there is okay so sir there is chair 2 or uh, we suppose uh, there is lots of object we have uh, with the uh, default tensorflow logic model okay so now it will say like this way we are going to simply save the code and come to the detect.py and if i start the code uh okay let's just go here it is dot py okay i forget to mention here a plus okay because we want to make a uh, text then we want to make the frequency as a object so save the code detect dot py if i run the code okay so we successfully start our code we have here two chairs now simply i am going to press the r button so there is chair 2 as you can see so there is chair 2 okay now what i am going to do i am going to move again in the frame okay so as you can see now there is a chair and the person let me press the r button 
Sir, there is person one, chair one. As you can see, it's counted the there is a person one and there is a chair one. So this is how friends you can make a tensorflow light object detection. So this is how you can uh, make Raspberry Pi 4 speak the object names. Okay. I hope you would learn something from this video. We'll meet our next video. Till then, thank you. Take care and bye bye.